Hi, this is Scott Gearbane. and today I want to talk about Dungeons and & Dragons and I want to talk about the brand new, absolutely fantastic Fan Delver and Below, the Shattered Obelisk. So I want to have a robust, spoiler-filled discussion of Chapter 5. Alright, so um, Chapter 5, right? Now, none of the lead, uh, none of the Lost Mine of Fan Delver content is new, uh, is old. Everything's new. This is a completely fresh um, take on um, this is new content that moves past Lost Mine of Found Delver. Now, the first four chapters significantly rewrote much of Lost Mine of Fast Found Delver and made some really fascinating changes. Changes that answer questions about Dungeons, how Dungeons & Dragons design has changed in 10 years, how our culture has changed in 10 years, how Dungeon Masters have changed in 10 years, and how um, uh, Dungeon Performers players um, have changed in 10 years. Pretty significant, right? So, um, so we reach this point in, uh, in Chapter 5 and we're in new content, right? So the player characters go back to Phandalin, right? And they find that Phandalin has been beset by a new set of goblins. So they've already dealt with the Kragmaw goblin, the Kragmaw, um, the Kragmaw band of goblins. Now they're dealing with the Sawpley goblins. So this is a new band of, of goblins, and this band has very powerful. Uh, psionics. So the this band is actually psionic goblins, which is really fascinating. And um, and so you see, uh, and psionics are a big deal in Dungeons and Dragons. Um, it was not in at the beginning of Dungeons and Dragons, and every edition is like, hey, let's get all the regular forms of damage in, and we want to keep um, psionics as an auxiliary, right? Like. Um, it's got enough of a following that it often finds its way into some adventures, but it's really just, it's not, um, it's not boilerplate being Dungeons and Dragons. And some people don't even consider it to be Dungeons and Dragons, which I think is very fascinating, right? So we get to the Saw Plea Goblins. They are psionic, and that's, this is a big deal. They have destroyed multiple sites within Phandalin, <coughs> multiple buildings, multiple uh, key, um, historical landmarks, right? And they've taken, um, they've taken Phandalin citizens captive, right? So now it's on the player characters to solve this, right? And they're not sure, they knew, they, they spent a lot of time, uh, with Sildar Hallwinter's help, they found where the Kragmaw band of goblins were, were, were headquartered, and they defeated them in their headquarters. Now they need to do the same thing. And up steps forward, so now there's an exploration part, right? A discovery part. Where are these Sawpley Goblins hold up, right? We know they come and they attack the town at a specific frequency, but where's their headquarters? Where are they launching out from, right? So comes forward a Dwarven Sage by the name of Gwyn Orsong, right? And Gwyn Orsong tells them these, these specific Goblins are holed up at this specific place, and let me tell you what that place is. And so she breaks it down for them, and she says, these Goblins are at the, um, are specifically at the, uh, old Dorgar mine, which is in a mountain, which is close to Phandalin, and in that old Dorgar mine, you will find Zorzula's Rest, that is the old, that is the name of the old, uh, Dorgar, Dorgar mine. Uh, Dorgar are an interesting, they're essentially like, um, they're dwarves that are, Previously, in other editions, they were pretty evil aligned, right? And I think that's that's a big question mark now of what, you know, if they're still evil aligned. It's a good question. It's a valid question, right? So, um, so, so that question is kind of there, right? And, uh, but you can play a Durgar in 5th edition, so, but the same way you can play a Drow, where traditionally that uh, species was aligned with evil. And now the additions are starting to walk that back, that no species is aligned with evil. Uh, they just, they have a specific number of, of members who have a more robust relationship with evil, you know, like, so, 
and, but there's, you know, but every species is unique, right? So that, that's there. So we get this, we get this whole, um, we get everything that I talked about coming through with, um, specifically with Zor Zorzula's Rest. And now the player characters need to go to Zorzula's Rest. They do go to Zorzula's Rest. They do find the Sawplee Goblins there. And they find the Sawplee Goblins, um, leaders there as well. And the leader of the Sawplee Goblins is Ruxathid the Chosen, who is a very powerful psionic goblin um, and has mastery and actually, you know, and is specifically uh, kind of taking the role of um, skill master, you know, of, of psionics. And at this point, so, so at this point, it is interesting because you do have the players doing the same thing twice in a row, right? Like, they find a band of goblins, they go to their headquarters, they defeat them in their headquarters. They find a band of goblins, they go to their headquarters, and they feed them in there, you know. So, I think maybe the design team could have written this out a little better. Um, but I am very, very thrilled with this. And, and I, with this overall adventure. And I know, actually, I'm not positive why they, they repeated the same, you know, because that does seem repetitive. Um, and so, this would be one of those areas where a dungeon master might choose to edit it. So that is my presentation of uh, chapter, of just a portion of chapter five. Um, but to that, but there's a break point in chapter five and I, I'm covering it to the break point now. I'll, I'll cover the rest later. So that is what the player characters find when they, when they engage with, with chapter five. Every single word of that is my humble opinion. I'm eager to, and I'm eager to hear your, your humble opinion on Vandelver below and the, uh, and the Shattered Obelisk. Please consider like describing and have a wonderful millennium.